أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته and welcome to another one of your T2 classes. I hope that today everyone is doing well and Jazakumullah to everyone for arriving on time. Just before we start the class, can everyone make sure that they have signed in with the correct IDs? as only correct IDs will be called to the mic. So use this time now to rename yourself if you signed in with the incorrect ID. Just looking at the agenda for today, inshallah, as always, we will start off our class with an opening dua. And as you know, today is a Friday and on Fridays, our format of the lesson is slightly different. So uh, as always, even today, we have our breakout room system in place. So please make sure that you accept the invitation that will pop up on your screen. It will take you to a smaller room with fewer students and it will increase the chance of being called to the mic. When you are called to the mic, do not forget to apply all your rules that you have learned so far into your Quranic recitations. Um, this way we will find out how many rules you guys know and which rules require more practice. Now you have been given a choice of different surahs as it is here. Um, so you can decide which surah you would like to recite once you are called to the mic. If you would like to attempt reciting surah al-Kawthar or surah al-Ikhlas off by heart, then you can let us know and we will take the surah off this display, whatever you're comfortable with. Um, I will also make a few announcements after opening dua. And then after the breakout room session, we will end our class um, with assigning some homework and a dua towards, towards the end. So as always, we're going to start off our class with an opening dua. Assalamu alaikum, co-host. Wa alaikum assalam. Could we have G2151? Yes, G2151. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? I'm good too. Alhamdulillah. Well, if you could please um, recite after me. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem Bismillahir rahmanir rahim Bismillahir rahmanir rahim Rabbana taqabbal minna Rabbana taqabbal minna Innaka Anastaim Okay, well done G2110. MashaAllah, beautiful recitation. You tried your best to incorporate any type of rule that you could remember, but there were just a few things that I would like to point out for today. Um, so let's start off with the first one. Yes. Uh, right here, okay. This letter, can you try saying this letter for me? Okay, yes. What letter is it? Yes, it's a ha. And is ha one of your throat letters? Yeah. No. Okay, well, ha is one of your throat letters. It is one of them indeed. Um, and the sound of it comes from the middle of the throat. So you beautifully made the ha sound here. You said, ar-rahma, which is beautifully said. But over here, you gave it a normal ha sound, like a very simple ha sound. Remember, this letter and this letter, they're both the same. So they have the same sound. So if you get like a thick sound here from the middle of the throat, then you have to give that same sound here as well. So if you could please repeat after me. Ar-Rahim. Ar-Rahim. Much better, mashallah. Very nicely recited. Now let's just look at the next verse here. Any um, letter that has got a fatha dhamma or kasra on top, how long do we put that before? One second. Perfect. Well done. Well remembered. So it's only one second. As you can see on these letters, lam and kaf, there is a kasra underneath, which means we're only giving it a one second timing. Okay. So make sure that you don't prolong any one of these letters. Only one second is given. And also, 
this girl, is this a thick letter or a thin letter? A thick letter. Okay, so here's the difference between a thick and a thin graph, all right? So a normal, this is like a normal curve, which is a thin letter, okay? Thin letter, normal curve. And a graph looks something like this uh, with the uh, two dots here. Yeah? This is a graph. This graph is different from this curve. Can you hear the difference when I'm saying curve and graph? Can you hear it? Yes. Perfect. So remember, you cannot give this like a thick sound. It's a simple K sound, you know, like the letter K. That's the same sound as the K. Okay. So remember, try not to give it a thick sound. So if you could repeat after me. Maliki. Maliki. Well done. Yawmiddin. Yawmiddin. Perfect. Well done. And do you know if any letter has got a shadda or a tashdeed on top, what do we do? A shadda or a tashdeed looks like this. What do we do? We put pressure on it. Yes. What do we do? Pressure. Absolutely. We put pressure on it. We press hard on the letter. So when we were saying it, we said, Yo middin. Could you hear that I put a lot of pressure on the dan? Yeah? Yeah. Now, this doesn't mean that you put a lot, a lot of pressure on it, but just make sure that a bit pressure is applied, a bit of pressure is applied so that it's evident when we're listening to it, okay? So that was one thing. But you, mashallah, you read it very nicely the second time round. And over here is a blank leaf, yes? Letter before that has got a fatah on top. So now we know it's an alif mud. How long do we prolong an alif mud for? Two seconds. Two seconds, absolutely well done. So remember when you're saying this, you give it a two second timing. Okay, so here we are. Here's the blank leaf. That is where you need to give the two second timing. Can you try doing that? <clears throat> Beautiful, well done. This time we gave this letter here a two second timing and this one a one second timing because it's only got a fatah on top. So well done. And same thing here as well. Well done. Which one of the two letters are we giving a two second prolongation to? The ya. Well done, because it's the ya which is joined to the blank alif. So well remembered. Well it's done. a ya mud. No, yes. it's not a leaf mud. Yes, it's an alif mud. Well done. And the ya has got a shadda on top. So we need to make sure we do what? Pressure on it. Absolutely. Well done, G2110. You're a very fast learner. Well, well done for today. Mashallah, you recited very well. Just remember your, your shaddad letters, so letters which have got shaddad on top. And also remember your alif mad, ya mad, and vow mad. Okay? okay? Yes, G2110? Yes. Perfect. Well, Jazakallah khair for your time today. Take care. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz and Jazakallah. Jazakallah khair, Allah Hafiz. Okay, so if Kahis, I could have another student, please. If we have G2107. Yep, G2107. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? I'm good too, alhamdulillah. Okay, so as you know, you've been given a choice of so many surahs today. Surah Fatiha, Nasr, um, Gawthar, Surah Al-Ikhlas, Surah al -Inshikak. Which surah would you like to read today? Um, uh, look. Hello. 
Surah, so Surah Al-Ikhlas, are you saying? No, yeah. Okay, perfect. Well, let's pull out Surah Al-Ikhlas, which is right here. Now, did you manage to memorize Surah Al-Ikhlas for the optional part or you didn't? Um, I memorized it. You memorized it, perfect. So would you like to read it off by heart today or would you like to look at the screen and read it? And look at the screen. Yes, you may look at the screen if you like. That's absolutely fine. Okay, so if you could please start off with Dawood and Tasmiya and start reciting from the start for me, please. Okay. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytanir-rajim Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Qul huwa allahu ahad Allahu samad Lam yalid Wa lam yu Walum yulad Walum ya kullahu kufuan ahad Okay, well done, mashallah, G2107. Very nicely recited. You took your time, you looked at every letter and tried to give the correct pronunciation for it. So I'm very happy about that. Well done. Um, let's just look at a few things together now, okay? If mm. we look at the first verse here, this right here is Allah's name, right? Mm -hmm. Now this time, if whenever you're reading the Quran and you see there's Allah's name, right? Here there's Allah's name present. Look at the letter before. If the letter before has a fatha or a dhamma on top, then that means that you need to give it a thick sound. For example, Wallahu. Can you try saying that? Wallahu. Well done. Mashallah, I could really hear that thick, round mouthed sound this time. So well done. However, if there is Allah's name and the letter before that has a kasra underneath, so imagine this had a kasra underneath, then that means you would just say, Willa, and it would just be very simple. Okay, so the thick sound okay. only applies if the letter before that has a fatha or a dhamma. Okay, in okay. this case, it has a fatha. So does it mean that we have to give a thick round sound? Um, so, so remember, with the fatha and the dhamma, you do. Yeah? Okay. And yeah. the same, if it's got a fatha or a dhamma before on the letter, then you need to give it a round, thick mouth. So, if you could repeat after me, Wallahu, Wallahu, Ahad, Ahad. Well done. Now, do you know where the sound of the ha comes from? Your, um, where does it come from? Your middle of your throat. Absolutely. Well done. Well remembered. So it's the middle of the throat where the ha sound comes from. So remember, try to give the sound accurately from the middle of the throat. Yeah, you did it perfectly the first time round, And this time round, I could hear it as well. But it's still a bit faint. And I think that just requires a bit more practice. OK, so try saying ha for me. Ha. Much better, much better. Well done. Well done. And this bell here. Do you know if it's one of our Kalkala letters or not? It is our Kalkala letters. Absolutely. Well done. So because Dal is one of our Kalkala letters, what do we need to do? Um, You do a, like a jerking sound. Absolutely. Well done. So you give a jerking sound. So when you're pausing, you're going to substitute this Dhamma Dain into a Sakun. So this Dal with the Dhamma Dain, is going to change into a dal sakin when you're pausing, and you will give a jerking sound towards the end. Ahad. Ahad. Well done. Try not to say ahad. Ahad is sort of joining these two letters together. Try saying that. Ahad. Well done. Much better. And here, this sword is also one of your round mouthed letters. Okay. 
So any letter which has got a shadda on top, like this one here, you're putting pressure on it anyways, yeah? But because mm -hmm. sad is one of your round mouth letters, you're not only putting pressure on it, but you're also giving it a round mouth. So try saying this for me. Allahu samad. Allahu samad. MashaAllah. Well done. The sword sound was beautifully pronounced. And remember the jerking sound at the end as well, yeah? Okay. And here on the dal, what are we meant to do? Uh, we're supposed to do a jerking sound. Absolutely. Well remembered. On this dal, we are meant to give a jerking sound because it's one of our kalkala letters and it's got a sukoon on top here. So if you repeat after me, Lam yalid. Lam yalid. Wa lam yulad. Wa lam yulad. Perfect. Now, did you notice that I elongated the sound of the vowel? Do you know why I did it? Yeah. It's because um, uh, it okay. has. All right. So if you look at the vowel sakin, what what does the mm -hmm. letter before that have on top? Atumma. Absolutely. So whenever you're reading the Quran. And there is a vowel sakin. If the letter before that has a dhamma on top, mm -hmm. we know it's a vowel mud. And so we need to elongate. Okay, we need to prolong. It's a vowel mud. So do you know how long we prolong it for? Two seconds. Absolutely. Well remembered. Well done. Two seconds of timing. So remember to give that two second timing there and the jerking sound here as well. Just like you beautifully made a jerking sound there. Yes? And just to finish this surah off, with this last word, can you try saying these last three letters for me? Ahad. MashaAllah. Well done. I was just making sure if you could remember the rule of ha, it's a throat letter, and you beautifully remembered it, and you very nicely gave a jerking sound there too. So MashaAllah, overall, that was a very good recitation, and you understood the rules very well. The only thing I would tell you to practice at this point is your ha sound, and your yamad, vaumad, and alifmad. Okay, the rule of it. Apart from that, beautiful recitation. Well done for participating today. And take care. Yeah? Okay. Jazakallah. Jazakallah khair. Allah hafiz. Okay. If I could have another student onto the mic, please, co-host. Could we have G2216, please? Yep, G2216. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. How are you doing today? I'm fine. I'm fine. Alhamdulillah. How are you? I'm good too. Alhamdulillah. Jazakumullah for asking. Okay. Well, as I said, you have a choice of which surah you would like to recite today. Is there a specific surah that you would like to recite? Um, I can recite both. Uh, actually, three of them, Surah Ikhlas, Surah Kawthar, and Surah Fatiha off by heart. So I don't know which one to choose out of those three. Okay, well, that's very good to know you know them off by heart. Do you want to try doing Surah al Kawthar? Yeah, sure. And do you want to recite it off by heart? Yes. Okay, well, two seconds. Here we go. Right, you can start reciting Surah al Kawthar. Um, obviously starting with Dawood and Tasmiyah and let's see how much of it you remember, yeah? Yeah. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim Bismillahi ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Inna a'dayna kal kawthar Fasalli li rab Bika one her in a shani aka who will abatar. Wow, well done, mashallah. Beautiful recitation, G2216. I could really hear all the rules that you were trying to apply to Surah Al Gawther. 
Mashallah, you gave a beautiful sa sound here. First of all, I have to mention that. Sa sound was beautiful. You put very nice um, pressure on top of the noon. You gave it a runna sound. And your sword was round mouthed. Your ha, you gave a very nice sound as well. And you gave a very good kalkala sound at the ba as well. I was very impressed with your um, recitation today. But just one thing I would like to say, on top of the noon, this sign here, do you know what the sign is called? Ahmad Shagheer. Absolutely. And how long do we prolong Ahmad Shagheer for? Three to five seconds. Very well said. It's three to five seconds. So when you said in Arduina, remember that on the Matsagir, you give it at least three second timing, which I couldn't really see that you put that much in there. Okay, that's the only thing I picked out. But apart from that, mashallah, very nicely recited, I have to say. So since you gave a very good recitation and there's not much that I can do to um, sort of correct you, let's have a look at one of the hard words. Uh, hard words, yeah, shall we? Yeah. Perfect. Let's go through the hard words right here. Uh, which one would you like to go through? Uh, I'd like to go through the um. Bol ke pata ho na point karne se hi pata lagega. Am I just finished? So is it one, two, three, four, five, or six? I think I'll have a go at uh, four. This one. Yeah. Perfect. Well done. That's a hard one you've chosen. A long one. So good luck. Um, try and go for it for me, please. Mem, mem, mud, ratem, mo, holla, holla, ka. Mashallah. Very nicely recited, G2216. You, I can see that you're very good at giving your round mouth as well on letters where it's required. So well done. Very nicely recited. I'm very happy with your recitation today. Just remember the meme mushaddad, right? If there is a noon with a shadda on top or a meme with a shadda on top, we give a wunna sound, which means you put a lot of pressure on it. Okay. So if you could repeat after me, meme. Okay. And one more time, meme. Well done, mashallah. Very nicely recited. Just try not to give a jerking sound there, yeah? Because Dod is not one of your Kalakala letters. But apart from that, very beautiful recitation, mashallah. I can see that you know your rules very well and you're able to apply them very well too. So keep memorizing if that's something that you want to do with the surahs. And inshallah, you'll get there very soon. Okay. Well, Jazakallah for your time today. Take care then. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. Jazakallah. Jazakallah. Okay. If Kahus, I could have another student onto the mic. Yeah. Could we have G2166? Yeah. G2166. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. How are you doing today? He go. Alhamdulillah, good to know. Okay, can you tell me which surah you would like to go through today? Any is fine. Any is fine. Okay, no problem. Well, let's go through surah and lesser today, okay? Right, here we are. If you can start off with Tawud and Tasmiya and start reciting from this. Start for me, please. <laughs> Wara Aidana Sayid Kulunafiti 
Nilahi Erwaja. Okay. Well done, um, G2166. Mashallah, very nicely recited. Thank you. And, uh, yeah, Mashallah, very nicely recited. And you've also elongated the letters very well here at the end as well. So I'm very happy about that. Good start. Let's just look at a few things together, okay? If you look at this letter here, can you try saying this letter for me? Za. Well done. Now, the has got a very unique sound. There are two letters. There is the and the. Remember, <laughs> you need to show the difference between the two. The looks like this, yeah? Mm -hmm. This one is like a normal Z sound. Whereas this one, um, you get the tip of the tongue and you touch the edge of the top teeth, the bottom edge of the top teeth. So if you can try saying this for me, either, either. Much better, well done, much better. I can really hear that sound now. So remember, Z sound can only be given for this Z here, okay? Yeah? Okay. Perfect. And can you just remind me what this sign is called? A matkabir. It's a matkabir. Yeah, it's a matkabir, okay? And we elongate it for four to six seconds, okay? Mm -hmm. So remember to elongate the sound for at least four seconds. If you can try saying this for me. Well done, mashallah. Very nicely recited. And this letter at the end, this ha, is this one of our throat letters? Yes. Yes, it is. So remember your ha, the sound comes from the middle of the throat. Can you try saying ha for me? Ha. Absolutely. Well done. Very nicely said. Now, if you are pausing, you know we've come at the end of a verse, so we're pausing here, right? According to the sunnah of the Holy Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So when we're pausing, what we're doing is that we are taking this dhamma away and we're adding a sukoon. So initially, this ha with the dhamma changes into a ha with a sukoon. Can you see that? Yes. Well done. So when you're saying it, this when you're pausing, you're doing work, you're changing that into a ha sakin. A ha with the dhamma, your ha sakin. So this letter is going to turn into a sakin letter. So when you're pausing, rather than saying but who, you're going to say but you're joining the two letters together. Try saying that for me. But her. Okay, one more time. But but okay, much better. Just try and give the ha sound from the middle of the throat, yeah. And any letter with a shadda on top, we have to put pressure on it. But with noon and mean, we have to give a wunna sound. So when you're saying this, try and give a wunna sound here. Okay, no problem. Um. Sorry, I read this one wrong. It's actually Wara Aida. Can you try saying that for me? Wara Aida. Okay. Um now can you notice on the noon mushadda we are putting pressure on it, yeah? Yeah. So remember, pressure needs to be put over there. Yes? So once mm -hmm. more. Danasa. Danasa. Well done. And in on this dal, is dal one of our kalkala letters? Yes. Yes, well done. So with the dal, we're giving a jerking sound because it's got a sukoon on top, yeah? So try saying this for me. Yad. Yad. Well done. One more time. Yad. Yad. Okay, well done. Very nice to recite it. Um, and you very nicely elongated your Vaumad, Yamad, and Yamad here. So overall, I shall say it was, mashallah, a very good recitation. Keep practicing and pay close attention 
to your kalkala letters and your ha, the sound of a ha, yes? Yes. Perfect. Well, jazakallah khair for your time, G2166. Dahafiz. Dahafiz. Jazakallah. Jazakallah khair. Take care. Dahafiz. Dahafiz. Bye. Bye. Okay. If I could have another student onto the mic, please, co host. Yeah, could we have G2227? Yeah, G2227. Assalamu alaikum. G2227. Assalamu alaikum. I'll choose another student. Could we have G2157? G2157. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? I'm good too. Alhamdulillah. Jazakumullah for asking. Okay. As with every student, they were all given a choice. So, so what choice would you like to pick from? Like, which surah would you like to recite today? Surah al-Fatiha. Surah al-Fatiha. Perfect. Well, let's get Surah al-Fatiha for you. There are so many surahs open. Okay, here one. This one, would you like to start from the start or do you want to carry on from where the past student left off from? I want to start from the start. Okay, perfect. Let me just get rid of the highlight. Perfect. If you could start off with Abu and Tasmiya and start reciting from here for me, please. Okay. A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Arrahmanirrahim. Maliki yawmiddin. Iyaka kanahbudu. Okay, well done, G2157. Very nicely recited. You, your elongations are on point. You're elongating every letter very well. And you're putting a lot of good pressure on top of like the dal because it's got a shadda on top. On this ba, you put beautiful pressure on that too. And you give a round mouth on the raw, which I was very impressed about. So overall, mashallah, you did a very good job. But just two things I want to point out. Actually, there's three. Um, these thick letters, first of all, these letters, Ayn and Ha, are these one of your throat letters? G2157. Uh, yes. Yes, well done. So Ayn and Ha are actually one of your throat letters. The sound of the Ayn and the sound of a Ha, they both come from the middle of the throat, both the sounds. So if you could repeat after me, but make sure that you give the sound from the middle of the throat. Alameen. Alameen. Much better. One more time. Alameen. Alameen. Much better. But just remember, try not to say alamin. You're saying alamin. Yes? Yes. Perfect. And if you could try repeating this as well. Ar-Rahim. Ar-Rahim. Well done. When you were reciting it, you gave the ha sound beautifully over here. But here you gave it a simple normal ha sound. Okay. Remember, there is a difference. The sound of the other normal simple ha comes from the bottom of the throat, like from no, almost from the chest. But the sound of the ha here comes from the middle. So make sure that you share the difference between the two. Yes? Yes. And same here. Can you try saying this word for me? Mahbudu. Okay. Good try. Just remember, ayn. This sound is from the middle. Try not to give a ha sound. So try repeating this after me. Now, budu. Now, budu. Mashallah, very nicely recited. I'm very happy with that. And just remind me quickly, if any letter has got a shadda on top, what do we do? 
like a shed though, which looks like this. You joined the before letter. Yes, well done, well remembered. So we know we are joining the alif to the ya, but not just that, we also put pressure on it. What do we do? We put pressure. Absolutely. So if you could please repeat after me. Wa-i-ya-ka. Wa ka yeah, well done. Just try and remember to put more pressure on the year. Let's try that one more time. E yeah. E yeah. Mashallah. Well done. I could really hear that hear you the shadda sound that you made here. You put pressure. Very happy with that. And can you try saying this here for me as well? E yeah. Good. Well done. But what do you need to remember on the year? You have to put pressure. Absolutely. So let's try that one more time, but make sure to put pressure on it. Well done, mashallah. There's no I in there, so try not to give the sound from the middle of the throat. But apart from that, mashallah, very nicely recited. And would you like to have a go at any of the hard words? Yes. Okay, I'll pick a hard word for you. Um, why did it go? Here we are. If you could try reciting this first hard word for me, please. Okay. Ava may you not Okay, mashallah. Good attempt, D2157. It was very good, um, very nicely recited. But just one thing I want to say is here, there is a Hamza on top of the vowel, yeah? Yes. So the analogy that was used is if there is a chair and there is a person sitting on top of a chair, are you going to talk to the person or are you going to talk to the chair? The person. Absolutely, it's the person sitting on top of the chair. Now, if you imagine this vowel is a chair and Hamza is the person, we're going to talk to the Hamza, right? Because it's on top. We can't talk to the chair, can we? No. In that sense, you're going to say the Hamza, not the vowel. So you're going to say, ooh. Try saying that. Ooh. Kind of, the, the vowel kind of looks like a chair too. Yes, absolutely. Well done. Yeah, the vowel actually looks like a chair. So good way of remembering the vowel is the chair. Yeah. So if you could please yeah. repeat after me. Ava may you Oh. Ava may you nashau 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 much better. Well done, G2157. That was very nicely read, and you did a pretty good job at reciting this hard word as well. So, Jazakallah khair for your time today. Take care. Jazakallah khair. Allah Hafiz. Good Hafiz. Good Hafiz. Okay, if I could have another student onto the mic, co host. Yeah, could we have G2237 on the mic, please? Yes, G2237. Assalamu alaikum. G2237. Assalamu alaikum wa alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. How are you doing today? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? I'm good too, alhamdulillah. Jazakumullah for asking. Okay, so which surah would you like to read today? Um, can I read all of them? All of them is going to be a bit hard because we have no time. We've only got four minutes. So if you could pick one of your choice, then that would be great. Surah Al-Fatiha. Surah Al-Fatiha, okay. So it seems to me that everyone loves Surah Al-Fatiha, which is a beautiful surah. It's one surah that we recite every day in our prayers. So I'm very happy about that. Okay. Well, could you please start off with Dawood and Tasmiya and recite Surah Al-Fatiha for me, please? A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytanir rajeem Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim 
Okay, well done, mashallah, G2237. Very nicely recited. I love how you've given an ayin sound beautifully here. And you gave a very beautiful ha sound as well because you know they're both your throat letters. But just quickly, I want to draw your attention towards this ha here as well. Is this the same ha as that one there? Uh, no. Okay, they are actually. If you look at it, the shape is very similar here and here as well. Can you see? Uh, yeah. So they're both the same ha, which means both of the ha's, the same. There's one ha. And you need to get the sound from the middle of the throat, okay? So you beautifully gave the sound there. But over here, a lot of people tend to make the same mistakes. So don't worry, but that will just come more with practice. Over here, you accidentally gave a normal ha sound, okay? So if uh, if you could repeat after me. Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim much better, much better. Well done. I could really hear the hair sound there. So remember, they're both the same letters. So if you're giving a sort of a sound from your throat here, from the middle, you need to give a sound from the middle of the throat here as well. Yes? Yes. Now, I just want to quickly remind you, this lamb has got a kasra underneath before. Yes? So if the lamb before has got a kasra underneath and it's Allah's name, then that means that we need to not give it a thick sound. It's very normal, lilla, normal lamb sound. Can you try saying that for me? Lilla. Beautiful. So rather than saying lilla, you're going to say lilla. Yes? Lil. Yes. Perfect. Well done. And just one more thing I wanted to point out. This gaff here is very different from this path that I drew here before. Yes? These are basically two different um letters this is a gal and this is a qaf can you hear the difference between the two uh yeah so yeah well then the difference is gal very simple thin normal sound and qaf sort of a thick round sound yeah you mean this is a gold qaf yes yeah, sort of like a gold qaf which means round qaf so you're giving a round mouth well done well remembered so try saying this normal gal for me Iyaka. Iyaka. Well done. And could you try saying this here as well? Iyaka. Well done. Mashallah, now you are not giving that thick round sound to the girl. So, mashallah, very nicely recited G2237. Just practice your half and your girl. And when you should, um, you need to learn when you should give a thick sound to Allah's name. Yeah? Yeah. Well done to, for today then. Um, take care of yourself. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. Jazakallah. Jazakallah khair. Allah Hafiz. Okay. Well, it seems like most students are back. If I just quickly take out the homework PDF. Yes, I think everyone is back now, so we can go through the homework. So, guys, your homework for today is, well, not for today, but actually for the weekend, is to practice Surah Al-Nasr, Surah Al-Ikhlas, Surah Al-Fatiha, and Surah al -Inshika. Okay, these are four surahs that you went through during the course of this week. Now, also remember, there is a mustahab response at the end of verse four of Surah Al-Nasr. Okay, so remember that you say that after you've read the fourth verse, okay? And there's also one prostration of the Labad um, at the end of verse 22 in Surah al inshqaq okay? So when you're reading the Surah or you're listening to the Surah and you manage to hear or read out the, the 22nd verse of Surah al inshqaq you need to do a prostration there. So remember to offer a prostration, yeah? Make sure that you memorize Surah Al-Ikhlas, well, you don't have to, it's very optional, but uh, we are teaching you the pronunciation of Surah Al-Ikhlas. So if you have time to memorize Surah Al-Ikhlas, then do go for it. And if you don't want to, then it's absolutely fine as well. 
but it's verse five. I know you guys, those people who are memorizing have memorized the first four verses. This time we ask you to memorize the final fifth verse. So you can do that if you would like to. Also make sure to practice the hard words, which are basically these ones. Um, practice them as much as you can because that's a good way of getting a bit more fluent with your Arabic um, pronunciation. And if you have memorized or if you have managed to memorize Surah al kawthar make sure that you read it from memory at least once a day to someone in, um, in the household. Or you can record yourself on the phone. Um, you can record yourself on the phone and play that audio again and again to yourself. That is a really good way of memorizing as well. And if you finished memorizing Surah Al-Ikhlas, read it three times a day whilst looking at the screen or whilst looking at Surah Al-Ikhlas in front of you before going to bed. And then in the morning, read it three times, but try recalling it from memory. Okay, and try reading it after namaz as well. Every namaz, try reading Surah Al-Ikhlas. It's a good way of memorizing that surah. Okay, so that's the homework. Quite a lot to do. But you've got two days to do it. So inshallah, you should be able to do it. And as always, we are going to now end our class with a closing dua. So if I could please have a student on the mic, please co-host. Yeah, could we have G2241? Yeah, G2241. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? I'm good too, alhamdulillah. Well, due to time constraints, is it okay if I lead you into the recitation? Yeah. Perfect. Here we go then. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytanir-rajim. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytanir-rajim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Mashallah, very nicely recited. Allahumma rahamni. Allahumma rahamni. Bil Quran al Azim. Bil Quran al Azim. And could you read out the English as well for me? Oh Allah, have mercy on the on me through the Quran the Great. Jazakallah khair for your time, G2341. Mashallah, very nicely recited. Take care. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. Thank Allah you for Hafiz. thank you for um calling me. No problem. Jazakallah for coming on the mic. Okay, well, that was it for today, guys. Jazakallah khair. Jazakallah to everyone for attending the class today. Make sure to do your homework, and I hope to catch you in another class soon. Until then, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.